You know, obviously the holidays Amen. are coming up. Thanksgiving is just a few days away. I have to ask you a few, a few food related questions, of course, because Absolutely. I have Chef Zakarian on the line with me. If you were yes. to bring one dish that you yes. felt confident about, comfortable with, I know you're an executive chef here. What would that dish be for you? For me? Well, I'm, you know, it's asking me that is like, you know, asking John Legend, which, you know, which, which piano he can play the best. <laughs> he can play them all. So I've done all kinds of cooking, but I always love doing the main event, the protein, because I think it's, it's one of those things I tell people, it's just a big chicken, but they can't get past <laughs> that. You know, they get stressed out. How many, how many pounds, what do I defrost? What do I brine? Do I not brine? Do I inject it? Do I hang it upside down? Do I fry it? Do I, what, what? It's, it's so yeah. stressful. I take that stress away. I got to ask you though, is there anything you hate cooking holidays, but always end up making it because your friends and family are requesting it so much? I think I hate cooking. I mean, I'm not like, I think that I try to pay a lot of attention. I know the sweets are important, but I try to pay a lot of attention to the main courses and the side dishes because it's so much food. Uh, and you know, if you have too many sweets, you go into a sugar coma and you just don't feel that well at the end right. of the day. So I sort of like limit the, 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 the sweets. I try to have fresh fruit as well as just pies because you can just get it just, you go overboard and what happens is you have these pies all the time, all around your house. And for the next four, four days, you're, you're having like all this heavy stuff. So I try to exert light. Before we hopped on and started recording, you gave me a life yes. hack for how to kind of empty a pot ran it out. Do you have any good tips for those who aren't maybe the best of cooks on Thanksgiving? Any really simple ways to just make a meal absolutely incredible? Um, well, I would get a digital thermometer. Uh, if you're going to cook your turkey, you want to cook it to 155 degrees in this, the fattest part of its, its um, breast. Take it out and let it rest 90 minutes. If you do that, I can't say much for your seasoning and all that. You have to really over-season the turkey. And if you do that and cook it to 155 degrees, let it sit for 90 minutes Okay. before you carve it. 90 minutes minimum. I guarantee you the, the, the turkey will be uh, perfectly moist. If, don't buy the turkeys with the thing that pops out of it, because that means it's way overcooked. By the time that thing pops out, that turkey is dead. Very dead. Dang. Okay. You are, you are dispelling a lot of rumors here. And, you know, in light of the foodathon and everything you stand for, do you have any advice on making recipes this holiday that are not overly wasteful or any idea how to make those mm. wasteful products maybe useful? Um, I, I always like making things on sheet trays. So you cut up just what you need and you roast them on a big sheet tray. It's very easy, and anything you have left over makes a great salad the next day because you really need to utilize the leftovers, especially Thanksgiving, because remember, that, that refrigerator is, is made for 364 days because the, the, the 365th day is Thanksgiving, and there's nowhere near enough room in there. So you really have to really work a bit, and I always buy a big cooler and put all so the jams and stuff and stuff I don't need regular stuff I eat every day, put that in a cooler, put some ice on it and keep it outside so I have room for everything else. Jeffrey, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate all of your hard work. Thanks you so much. People, you can tune into the Great American Foodathon tomorrow, airing commercial free across Fox owned stations. You can also watch it online at nokidhungry.org slash American Foodathon. You definitely want to be a part of it. Be sure to check out cityharvest.org for more information. 